Oh, hello everybody out there in the book first. It's Stephanie and today I am back with my Christmas book haul. Now I have a lot of book hauls that I have filmed that I haven't posted. So you're probably going to be seeing this one before a book haul that I filmed a long time ago. But you know what? It is what it is. I am going to be talking about the books that I acquired in December. The majority of them are going to be Christmas presents, but there are a few other ones that I got from other means as well. But let's go ahead and start with the Christmas presents. First, let's start with some of the presents I got from some amazing friends here in the bookish community. I love exchanging books with my friends here on booktube every year and it's just so much fun to kind of see what they have on their wish list, pick out some books, and then see which ones from my wish list they pick for me. I absolutely love it. The first one I'm going to talk about is Daughter of No Worlds by Carissa Broadbent. I am actually so beyond excited to read this book. It's just been calling to me. I'm really, really looking forward to it. And this one is from Monet. It says, Hi, Stephanie. I keep seeing this book everywhere. Don't leave it unread forever. I'm depending on you to help me decide if I should read it. Laugh out loud. Happy holidays from Monet. I also have been seeing this book everywhere and I also am so intrigued by it and I really really want to read it. So this one is high up on my priority TBR. This is a new adult fantasy romance. I've heard amazing things about it on TikTok. I haven't really seen it too many other places but it is really popular on TikTok. I think it's the first book in a completed trilogy and I'm pretty sure it is a woman with forbidden magic that goes to find someone to train her and I think it's a relationship between her and her trainer. I'm not 100% positive but I want to read it. Plus oh look at this. Look at under the dust jacket. So pretty. So yeah I am definitely looking forward to reading this book so thank you so much Monet. The next gift I received is just, I am so pumped for this series. It is The Hunger of the Gods by John Gwynn. I think I'm probably going to wait till the third and final book in the series comes out to read it so I can just binge them all together, you know, like I do with all series that I don't postpone reading them. Not at all. Uh, this one is a gift from Abby. It says, Happy Christmas. Hope you have a lovely festive period. Love, Abby. Um, I know that Abby absolutely loves John Gwynn. She's like one of the biggest John Gwynn fangirls. So I am really looking forward to it. Plus, I just like the covers of this series. They just look so good. I think this is like a Norse inspired adult high fantasy series. I know it follows a mother character, which a lot of people absolutely love. Of, and I think that there are some like old gods in here that are kind of returning or something. I am just really, really looking forward to it. I think this series sounds so good. I've heard people say that this series is John Gwynn's best work. Next, I have The Bone Shard Emperor by Andrea Stewart. This is a sequel to The Bone Shard Daughter, and this is a gift from Joanna. So this says, Merry Christmas, my beautiful friend. We should totally buddy read this together if you want. I love and miss you and hope you have a wonderful holiday season. Much love. So this series I have heard amazing things about. I think it follows the daughter of an emperor who uses bone shards to fuel his magic. I've heard this has an amazing animal companion in this series so I'm really looking forward to it plus I think the third and final book in this trilogy is coming out later this year so yes Joanna we should definitely buddy read the entire series if you've already read the first one I'll catch up <laughs> the last book from my book two buddies is fairy tale by Stephen King Ooh, gotta pull the note out it's from Sophia and her note says I just finished this one myself and was surprised by how much I enjoyed it I hope you will too happy Christmas Stephanie I love Sophia she's like one of the nicest people ever and I am really really interested in this one I thought it would kind of be more horror because that's what I expect from Stephen King but Sophia says this is very fairy tale fantasy-esque so I am really really looking forward to it. I like the cover it kind of gives me like a dragon eye feel which I think they're going for. I think that's what they're trying to get at but I am really excited to read this one. This one just sounds so good plus I actually quite enjoy Stephen King's writing style at least in the book that I have read of his so definitely looking forward to this one and it's a standalone which is great for fantasy. Now onto some books that were given to me by family. First one is The Wizard's Butler. This is uh, the first book in a self-published series by Nathan Lowell. This was given to me by my sister's boyfriend and it says 
for five grand a month and a million dollar chaser, Roger Mulligan didn't care how crazy the old geezer was. All he had to do was keep Joseph Perry Shackleford alive and keep him from squandering the estate for a year. They didn't tell him about the Pixies. So I think this is kind of a, I don't know if it's adult fantasy. Actually, I'm really not positive. I think it's about this like butler to a wizard and I think it's humorous. I think it's fun. My mother has started reading it already because he gifted it to like everyone in the family so we can all read it and I think she's very very much enjoying it. I am really excited to give this a try. It sounds almost like a little bit of a cozy fantasy honestly so yeah I think it'll be a lot of fun. Next book is from my sister and that is Age of Ash by Daniel Abraham. I have heard amazing things about this one. I think this book is set just like within one city and follows different characters within the same timeline and story in the different books. I know that Alan from the Library of Alexandria really enjoyed it a lot so I'm really interested in trying it out. It's adult high fantasy and I just think it's going to be a lot of fun. I really like the cover too. I like how you can kind of see, you can see it better on the back, but like the city built into the side of the cliff. It just looks gorgeous and I'm really excited to try it out. Okay, before we jump into the next group of books, I kind of have to tell the story of them. My husband is amazing and he decided he was going to get me a book advent calendar for Christmas. So he was going to do like 12 books leading up to Christmas, like 12 days of Christmas. It was so sweet of him and I was, I'm, I loved it. I was really excited to start opening them. So we get to the first one and I open it and it was White Hot Kiss by Jennifer L. Armentrout. I'll put it over here. And I was like, oh, okay. Because he told me he got them from my wish list and this was not on my wish list. So I was like, okay, maybe he branched out a little bit. I do own From Blood and Ash by Jennifer L. Armentrout. So maybe he saw that, thought he tried it out. I'm like, great, awesome. So I was like, okay, we got this. Next one I open, gosh, I don't even remember what it was was a book that I had never even heard of. It was a graphic novel. I don't even remember what it was. So I was like, okay, sweetie. So I was like, okay, where did you get these books from? And he's like, oh, it's from your wish list. I'm like, no, it's not. So he shows me the list. It is a list labeled Stephanie's list in his Amazon account. And the list is a private list. So I couldn't have added to it because I do stuff on my account, not on his. So I have no idea where this list came from and it was quite entertaining to see some of the other books that were in that advent calendar. Um, I'll show you some that I did end up keeping from that calendar. We did send some of them back though because I just wasn't interested in them. Uh, but one of them was Silver in the Wood by Emily Tesh. This is a novella and it's set in this magical wood and I think we have this kind of like hermit woods keeper in there. I really really like the cover plus it's a novella which I like to like throw in in between some bigger thicker books that I have going on. I'm really interested in reading it so this was a great pick. Also from that part of it was The Crown of Gilded Bones by Jennifer L. Armentrout. This one is the second book I think in the Throne of Glass or in the From Blood and Ash series. Book three. Ooh, this is a third book. I don't own the second book in paperback, but if I am going to read these, I don't want to read the special editions that I have. Where are they? They're up here somewhere. Um, yeah, so I have special editions of these books from bookish boxes, but I don't really want to read them. So I will want to read the paperbacks. So I'll hold on to this so I can read the series. Also in that grouping of books is Temple of No God by H.M. Long. This is actually kind of like a companion sequel to a different book. I don't own the first one. Is it on here somewhere? What the first book is? Hall of Smoke. So this one kind of comes after Hall of Smoke, which I don't own and haven't read. So I will need to get that one first, but I do still want to, I do want to read these books. And so I will hang on to this one as well. I think it is like a warrior priestess in here. So very interested. It looks like it kind of has a moth on the cover. I am definitely interested in these books. So I'll keep this one and then get the first one as well. And then the other one on there that I just randomly decided to keep and I think I might try to like buddy read it with my niece is Crave by Tracy Wolf. I've been told this is like almost a twilight at a magical school, which I'm expecting it to be a little cheesy, kind of corny and angsty, but like fun. That's what I'm hoping for in this. And so I'll, I think I'll see if my niece wants to buddy read this series with me. So I'll keep this one as well.
Now, at this point, my husband is realizing that these aren't books from my regular list. So he removes the books that were from the other list and got books from my regular list and put them on there, under there and switched them out. So going forward are ones that were on my wish list and that I'm definitely going to keep. First of it being uh, Monstrous Volume 7, Devourer by Marjorie Liu and Santa Takeda. This one is a graphic novel series that I absolutely love. Follows a girl who has these magical powers inside of her and all sides of the war are trying to get her to either use her or kill her and I love it. I love the art style. I think it's just absolutely gorgeous. The storyline is very interesting. It's a very complex world and it is pretty dark and it does have a lot of death and killing in it so keep that in mind but I really love it. It's such a fun story and I am really excited to read this one. The next one is a book that's kind of out of my normal reading, but it just struck me as something really interesting, and that is Lemon by Kwan Yo Sun. This is about the murder of a young girl, and then later is where the story takes place, and her sister is trying to figure out what happened because it went unsolved. I don't know why, it just kind of struck me as something that I would really enjoy. Plus, it is like a bright yellow cover, so for some reason, I was drawn into that. Um, I don't I don't know really if I'm gonna like this but it sounds intriguing so I'm definitely interested plus it's fairly short so that's kind of nice. Next one again I think I googled Dark Academia and this one came up but it just sounded intriguing is The Virgin Suicides by Jeffrey Eugenides I think. Um, it's I mean I love this cover I think it's really pretty like the rose gold on there but it's about these five sisters who all commit suicide within a year and I think it's told from the perspective of boys living in their neighborhood and how that kind of affects them. I don't know why I am so intrigued by this book but I just think it sounds fascinating. I'm really excited to read it and I think it's been turned into a movie as well so I could definitely read it and then watch the movie afterwards see how it compares but yeah I'm just very intrigued by this book. Next I have The Queen of Blood by Sarah Beth Durst. This is the first book in the Queens of Renthia series which I've heard amazing things about. People seem to really love this when they do read it but it's like more of a less popular series on the book Dernet. I think it follows a queen who is it's kind of like her duty to keep the magic of the forest at bay so it doesn't kind of take over and kill her subjects and then something is going wrong and it's starting to encroach. I just have heard amazing things about it plus I really like this cover. I think it's so pretty and you guys know that I love magical dark forest settings in books. I just adore it. It's one of my absolute favorites so I'm really excited to try this series out. Another book that's kind of outside of what I would usually read is The Splendid and the Vile by Eric Larson. This is a non-fiction book but I've to I'm told that it is written in such a way that it almost feels like you're reading fiction. You're just really engaged in the story and this follows um, Churchill during the time of World War II and I have just heard amazing things about it. I've also heard really great things about his book uh, The Devil in the White City which is another one that I'm really interested in but I think it's just going to be so interesting. I don't read a ton of non-fiction books but this just sounds like one that I would definitely enjoy. Next I got two, two books within the same series which is great because now I have all of the books in this series and that is Kingdom of Copper and Empire of Gold by S.A. Chakraborty. These are the second and third books in her Devabad trilogy. The first one being um, Kingdom of... no. City of Brass. Sorry that took me longer than it should have. I am really looking forward to reading this series. I feel like it's one that I'm absolutely going to love. It's set in kind of I think it's like either Persian or Egyptian mythology that it kind of follows. I think it's Persian mythology and there are jinn and there's magic and there's a thief and I'm just really excited for it. I've, and my friend Abby says I'm absolutely going to love this series so I definitely need to make it a priority. And also I mean look at these covers. They're just absolutely gorgeous. I yeah I need to get to this series soon. The next book when I put it on my wish list I didn't realize it was as pretty as it is and that is The Queen of the Tearling by Erica Johansson. Look at this book. It's just I mean like the spine. It has a 
bookmark thing in there oh the inside isn't that pretty but like the end papers are also super pretty I am just so excited to jump into this book I actually think the reason I added it to my list to begin with is because Emma Watson said this was one of her favorite books and I don't know why like I I don't really follow her and I'm not really that like invested I guess in what she likes to read but for some reason I was like oh that does sound great I'll put it on there. I've heard really good things about this book and the second book but I've heard people kind of disappointed in the third book in the series so I'm interested to see what I think of it but again this is a stunning book and I'm interested to read it. I don't know what it's about it's an adult fantasy but that's about all I know. And the last book of my Christmas presents is The Time of Contempt, a book in the Witcher series. It is the new ones that are coming out that are hardback. They have this gorgeous artwork on them that I absolutely love. Oh, I didn't know they have stuff printed on the hardback too. That's really cool. Uh, they have these really pretty maps as well, which is going to be handy because I remember when I read them before and they could get a little bit confusing. I am planning on starting over with reading the Witcher series and just rereading them all again. And I do want all of them in hardback. I have been trying to collect them. So yeah, I was really happy to get this one. Plus, I kind of like this purple vibe to it. I mean, it's pretty. It, it's so pretty. So yeah, definitely loving it. The next ones I did not expect to come this fast. I did pre-order them during like the pre-order sale and they came with these cute little stickers of Coloss, which is adorable. Um, but that is the leather bound editions of the Alloy of Law and Shadows of Self. They kind of had a deal going on if you got them both at the same time. And so I did. They're beautiful. They have the gilded edges. I mean, oh. You can't really see much there but oh, I love these leather bound editions and of course I'm trying to collect all of Brandon Sanderson's Cosmere works in these leather editions so now that I have these two I have all of them that have been released so far. I think they're absolutely stunning so beautiful and they're some of my favorite books ever like the Cosmere books. I love them all so I definitely want to have them all in these special editions. Next we have I believe our December fairy loot and that is Emily Wilde's Encyclopedia of fairies by heather fawcett and i don't know abs i know absolutely nothing about this book i don't i think they just kind of changed the colors on the cover of it um it does have really cute sprayed edges it has little mushrooms so i do think that's adorable and i really like this under the dust jacket thing because it looks kind of like an encyclopedia so i pr i might actually display it that way just because i think it's so cute it does have some nice artwork on the end pages as well it's signed by the author and let me see does it have different art oh it does have some little bit of different artwork on the back end pages so really pretty i'm just honestly not that interested in this book so i mean I might read it. I might not. We'll see. And the only other special edition that I got was The Goblin Emperor by Catherine Addison. This is from The Broken Binding. Their kind of annual or their monthly subscription that they do. I I really like this. It, it feels quite unique and different. I like the sprayed edges. It's just a kind of a pattern like shapes and I think it's really pretty. I like their under the dust jacket and I really like this map I don't think that's in the original one but I think it's beautiful so I mean I have never read this I know that Abby read it and really didn't like it but I think I'm gonna give it a try because I think it would be something that I might potentially enjoy and it's just gorgeous so I, I should if I if I own a copy this pretty I should probably try to read it <laughs> the rest of the books from this book haul came from the Barnes and Noble half off hardcover sale. I did go a little crazy. I got more than I probably should have, but you know what? It was fun. I actually went with my best friend. It was awesome to be able to go with her. Um, it's the first time I've ever gone book shopping with her before, so I think she might have been a little bit freaked out by how many books I buy and how long I spend because she and her husband came. <laughs> And yeah, I think the length of time and number of books that I buy might have been a little bit surprising to them, but it was fun. First one I picked up was The Fork, the Witch, and the Worm by Christopher Paolini. This is a Tales from Allegasia book. I haven't read these. I actually loved the Aragon series growing up. It was so much fun for me to read, but I haven't read these. It's just like a little, I think, short story collection 
from the same world as Aragon. Oh, there's kind of a picture in there. What is that? Oh, it's just kind of like a quite basic map, actually. But since I want to reread the Aragon series, see kind of how well they've held up, I wanted to have these as well so I could throw them in. So definitely wanted to get that. And this one I just kind of happened to see and grab, and that is Stellar Loon, the most recent book in the Keeper of the Lost City series. This one I think is book nine, right? Which I love that they put it on the spine what books they are. This is book nine in that series. I do have all of the others in hardback, so it just made sense to be able to get this one in hardback as well. I kind of like this cover. It's like the colors are just all over the place and crazy, and I really enjoy it actually. Another one that completes a series, which was kind of convenient, is The River of Silver by S.A. Chakraborty. This is Tales from the David Bad Trilogy. So again, I think it's some short stories within the same world as the David Bad Trilogy, which I got the rest of the books in that series for Christmas. So it was just perfect timing and I knew I wanted it in hardcover because I have all the rest in hardcover. This next one, I've just kind of been interested in it for a while, so I decided to pick it up while it was half off, and that is Lessons in Chemistry by Barney Garmus. I don't really know a ton about this book. My, hus my husband does, because he was telling me about it, but um, it I think it's this girl who uses science, like very into STEM, science and chemistry, and she is doing like cooking, um, like a cooking show or an online cooking channel or something, but using a lot of science in that and kind of her navigating the world of women not being that welcome in STEM, because I think it is set a little bit in the past. So definitely gonna try it out. I've heard amazing things about it. People seem to absolutely love this book. And it was the special edition with sprayed edges, which I thought was cool. I don't think there's anything else special about it besides that, nah, but I'm interested to read it. And sometimes I'm just in the mood for a contemporary romance. And I think it's along those lines. This next one was actually a complete cover by, and I didn't realize it was within the, like, from Blood and Ash world until I got home and looked at it. But that is A Light in the Flame by Jennifer L. Armentrout. This is a flesh and fire novel, which I don't know if it's the From Blood and Ash series. I think it's from the other one that's like a kingdom of, I, I don't remember. I think it's the other series, but it's in the same world. And this is the Barnes and Noble exclusive edition, which I just think it's really, really pretty. And so that's why it was picked. I don't, I don't know anything about it. Obviously you can tell, I don't even know what series it's in. The next two books kind of go together. They are two more hardcovers within the Witcher series. I have Season of Storms and Sword of Destiny. Wanting to add some more to my collection because I am going to collect the whole series in hardcover. And so I figured I should get them while they were half off. This one for some reason feels oddly heavy compared to this one. Like this one is much denser and heavier. It looks like they used a different kind of paper for this one than for this one, which is weird and kind of annoying, honestly. This is the same series. I think they're like kind of being published at the same time by the same publisher. Why are we making them so different? Ooh, also this one has like a bring the book to life thing on the back. So if you have this one, you should check it out. Um, but yeah, got two more of these to add to the collection. And the final book of this book haul was an absolute like just random mood buy and that is The Fall of Numenor uh, by J.R.R. Tolkien edited by Brian Sibley. So this is I think a book about The Fall of Numenor and I don't think it was uh, it wasn't published during his lifetime. It was like other writings he had that came after I think but oh, I just think it's so beautiful. I love it. It's thick. Like it's a solid book. It has really great pages. There's artwork in there. I mean, I just think this is an absolutely gorgeous edition. And I'm probably going to try to get like all of the books within the Lord of the Rings world, or at least a lot of them in this type of an edition. So yeah, I want to add it and it was in perfect shape. So yeah, I love it. I'm so excited about this one. Okay, those are all the books for my Christmas book haul. I feel like I went a little bit out of control, but it wasn't as bad as it could have been. I think I definitely did worse last year, so improvement. Uh, but I'm really excited about a lot of these books. Some of them are kind of for collection reasons, and some of them are because I just really want to read them. I do feel like I got a little bit of variety in there as well. So yeah, let me know if you saw any books in here that you think I absolutely need to read that you think are just amazing and perfect for me. Um, and if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more from me, hit the subscribe button down below and bell icon so you'll be notified when I post new content. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!